Hello and welcome to another Kangaroo English Daily Digest. My name is Christian and today is Thursday, best day of the week. And today's word of the day I'm going to talk about very quickly because uh, I want to talk about something else. <laughs> so today's word of the day is finicky. Mm, it's an adjective, right? You can detect the adjective by this little Y at the end, finicky. Now, do you know what it means, finicky? Finicky means something which requires precision, something which requires you to be meticulous, something which requires very careful, detailed attention. Like maybe, for example, um, sewing on a button is finicky, right? You have to kind of like yeah, do this. Now, where does this word come from, finicky? Because it, it looks a bit strange. Well, if you look here, right, look what we have. We have fin, the end. And if something is the end, then it is the best quality. Okay, so why would something that is the end be something that is best quality? Well, think about this. When you want to say that you have the best telephone, the best mobile phone, or the best car, you can say that you have the ultimate car, the ultimate telephone. It's the same thing. Ultimate means the final thing. And it's the final thing because it's the end of the process of evolution. So if you're at the end of that process, it's the best thing that's ever been made. And so things that were thin were things that were fine, fine. Like for example, you could say, wow, this, this cotton is very fine. And something which is very fine, which is the ultimate quality, normally takes a lot of care and attention to make. And so basically when you say that something is finicky, you're saying that it requires that precision because it is like the ultimate quality. <laughs> now, let me tell you something else that is quite finicky. The human brain, right? The human brain is a very finicky instrument. and. I want to tell you about some amazing research. So this is the article, okay? So it was published in February, I think. Speech synthesis from neural decoding of spoken sentences. Okay? So basically what they did was they put electrodes, implants, directly into the brain of people directly into their brains and then they asked them to read sentences okay and they looked at this electrical activity in the brain and they they were able to decode the parts of the brain that are responsible for specific sounds now this is something i didn't know was possible but it is possible. So basically there is one very specific part of your brain that activates when you say D. And there's another very specific part of your brain that activates when you say ah. And there's another specific part for all of the other phonemes in English. And so these scientists, they, they put electrodes in and they measured the electrical activity and they created an artificial vocal apparatus. Basically, they can turn what you're thinking directly into speech. You don't have to say anything. The computer knows what you're saying. It's incredible. And this is without moving your mouth, without anything. You just think it and the computer says it. Now let me show you an example because there's an example on their website. Okay. Now it doesn't sound perfect but it sounds pretty good. So here the sentence is, the proof you are seeking is not available in books. Let me just rewind it a bit to see. Okay, here we go. Uh, come on, here we go. Ready? The proof that you are seeking is not available in books. 
It sounds a bit weird. The proof that you are seeking is not available in books. Okay, so that's the that's the real original. The proof that you are seeking is not available in books. So so here when they when they say the when they say the words you can see the electrical activity in the brain and then what the what the synthesis is. So it's not perfect but it sounds good. She feel even the most massive process. Shipbuilding is a most fascinating process. She feel even the most massive process. Okay, so you can see it's not it's not perfect. I mean, it sounds a little bit like um, like the person has a, a, de a defect. But this is the first generation. I think in, in a few years, <laughs> in a few years, you will be able to take perfect speech directly from the human brain. It's uh, uh, amazing. So that means that people who, who can't speak, maybe because they've had a, a stroke or because they're paralyzed, they have ALS, anything, you know, you can give them back the ability to speak only by thinking. It's pretty, pretty amazing stuff. Um, and imagine if you combine this with artificial intelligence and then you combine that with, with like automatic translation tools. <laughs> the future is here, old man. <laughs> um, well, anyway, I, I, um, it's, it's something, it's something to think about for the, Something to think about, whether you think it's scary or not. Um, well, that's all for today's Daily Digest. Go and do something finicky. Doing things that are finicky are quite, are quite good fun sometimes. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll see you in class. <laughs>